So we have our servers running. We have um, the admin server, the SOA server, and the OIM server running. Okay, so let's clear. Let's clear that. So a couple things we have to do over here at the console before we can actually start running the importer. This, is, this by the way, is a fresh install of OIM. It's um, well, maybe not a fresh install. It's a fresh load of um, the starter virtual machine that I created, which is a you know basic VM install. So before you can use the bulk loader, um, there's a couple things you have to do. Um, one is you have to create a user. Um, the, this is going to be the user ID that will have the default password that the bulk loader will assign to every user it imports. So what I do is I'm going to create the user as default password and we'll make default password is user ID and we'll set up as password okay we got a password and now we'll do an organization Seller users add. So give a user type. Okay. So we got our default password user set up. Now as soon as that saves. Can use another 50 gig on my VM server. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to switch here and may as well add an organization. The um, I couldn't get the org to load. According to the documentation, you can use um, the org name as one of the input fields, but. Uh, Fortunately, I couldn't get that to work. I kept saying I couldn't find the organization and the name should be this name. So I have an open uh, question on the forum. Hopefully someone can figure that out or have, has run into this. And there was another issue I had with the scripts too, so we'll get to that when we switch over. Okay, so we created our demo org. We created our D password user that has our default password. Okay, so I think during the book, bulk load you kind of have to shut down OIM at least that's what they tell you so we're going to log out of it we're going to go back over here and we're going to shut down our OIM server Okay, well that's coming down. Okay, so over here, this is my VM server. So we're going to go to the, and I think I have something in here. Yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to grab. We're going to drag that over CSV files in the bar large DB. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Looks like our server's down. Okay, here's the bulk load utility. Um, Okay, we're going to drag our file over. Okay, we're going to move CSV files out of the way.
Okay, now this is the CSV files that we just um, copied off of the other server. So um, basically the way it works is you set up a master file and the master file points to the other two files that you want to load. So just for demonstration purposes, I had set up a manager's file and I also set up an M data file. Okay, so there's about 30,000 employees in here. So, um, okay, one of, the, one of the first things we have to do is, <clears throat> according to the documentation, we have to create a table space. So I have a script here that will create the table space. Okay, and that's how we're going to run the script. Okay, it should be creating the table space as we speak, or as I speak, and drink coffee at the same time. Okay, space created. We're done with that. Okay, the other problem is the scripts. Okay, the, uh, the user script is broken. I'm not sure how they could possibly do that, but they're messing up their own internal parameters. So that one is one of the ones that's broken and the port is also broken. What happens is somehow or another they're picking up <coughs> messages and then they're trying to parse the port number out of those messages and what happens here is it ends up being enter password space 1521 <coughs> and then when this guy tries to convert that port to an integer of course it goes kaboom. So we're just going to put the port and the host name right in the script. So actually this is where we need to be. Okay, so now that we have all the files set up, we have the table space loaded, we have the default password user created. Um, we created an org because we'll, we'll need it later. We can manually update through SQL and give everyone the org. And of course we'll have to assign a couple people managers and whatnot. But this is we're just demonstrating the bulk loader for this round of the video okay so what we're going to do is we're going to run it that's the script there okay so now it's going to ask us some questions we want to load user data when you load user data you load the user table account data is basically going to load a UD table of some sort so we're, we're not loading any resources we're just going to load some user data Ah, okay, that's another thing. So, in, all right, we can get rid of that. So, in the infinite wisdom of Oracle, they can't seem to deploy their own um, JDBC jar file. So, fortunately, there's no shortage of them. Yep, see, no shortage of them, so we'll just um, just grab that. here. Okay, I'm going to load some user data, check in our Java, everything's cool. We're going to take the default Oracle home, put in our connection information, um, dev OIM, Oracle, I hope I typed it in correctly. No, I guess not. Okay. Um, 
Je vois rien. Si je fais un truc, quoi encore Ok, we might be connecting now. Connected. Now we're going to compile the stored procedures that the loader uses. Yeah, I've done this once or twice. Okay, and just to do this one more time, this is where it would go boom. Hopefully it's okay, so it's still not wanting to play properly. Okay, that should be correct. Let's just try it one more time. Take the default. 